Hello, Kennedy Library citizens. Happy Read Across America Day. This story is called Tiara's Hat Parade by Kelly Starling Lyons, illustrated by Nicole Tadgel. Tiara's Hat Parade. Some people say, I have a knack for storytelling. Well, my mama has a gift for making hats. Ladies come from all over to get a Tracy Rose millinery creation. I was her, I was her helper, the best hat model around. Hold your head high, Tiara, Mama would say, as she slid her sunny day special on my head. Tangerine with gold feathers fanning out, I felt like a bird showing off its colors. Now strut. That's right, baby. Show them how it's done. I would sashay around her studio, and the ladies would clap and shout, Woo! Go on, girl! Their laughter jingled like silver charms. But when the new store opened with hats that cost way less than Mama's, the stream of ladies slowed to a drip. I waited in the living room window with a smile ready to dazzle. Day after day, nobody came at all. We can't eat dreams, Mama said one afternoon. Sighing, that store can afford to sell hats cheaper than I can. Daddy and I helped Mama pack away her fabric, feathers, beads, sequins, ribbons, and buttons. Then came the hardest part, tucking her hats into boxes. Daddy hugged Mama. I can work extra hours, he said. Don't worry, we'll be okay. That day, Mama closed her studio for good. Now no one goes into that room. Just sits at the back of our house, quietly and lonely. When my school had a job opening, Mama went back to what she did before, teaching art. Can we make a new hat after school, I asked one morning. You have homework, she said, and I have work to do, too. But you're always too busy. Let's talk about something else, she said, her voice sharp as a hat pin. Then it was hushed as a feather. Something happy. Every day I walked through the house, I passed her studio. One Saturday, when she was out and Daddy wasn't looking, I gently opened the door. It groaned softly like someone slowly waking from a nap, and I was in. I saw Mama's hat stand, silent as soldiers, standing guard. I reached for a hat box and trembled as I raised the lid. Inside was Mama's purple pride. I slid it on and felt a smile rise up in my heart. I jumped when I lifted the brim and saw her staring from the doorway. This was something special, she whispered. Can it be again? I asked. Not now, sweetie, Mom said. Just put that hat away and come on out. I told you, stay out of here. I held back tears, but did as Mama said, tucking the purple pride into its bed. She put her arm around my shoulder. Then she locked the door behind us. But the next day at recess, I thought about Mama's hats. I pictured them as we drove home. At dinner time, I slipped in a silent prayer after grace. Amen. And please help Mama make hats again. On fun Friday at school, Mama let us choose our art project. My hand shot up. Hats, I said. She cut her eyes at me. Please, Mrs. Rose, everyone sang. Her frown turned to a smile. Okay, okay, hats it is. We made hats with tall crowns and big brims, plain ones and fancy ones. Mama swept across the room like a magician, helping us add decorations with waves of her hand. My friend Maddie put on her hat and frowned. It's just not right, she said, huffing. Mama cocked the hat to the side and held up a mirror. How about now, she asked. Tea party time, Maddie said. Her giggle reminded me of laughter spilling out of Mama's studio. I sat up straight and smiled. I knew what to do. I told Daddy my plan. That's a real good idea, baby girl. He said, smiling. We checked with the principal. Daddy got the addresses. And I got busy. Come to the hat parade at Height Elementary. I wrote in big, colorful letters. Bring your favorite Tracy Rose hat and a story. <laughs>